what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A little house cleaning before we get started. If you have not done so already, I need you to go to my backup channel, Certified TV, and subscribe. I'll put a link in the description to make it easy for you. I'll also put a link in the description for you guys to get yourself a no more talk mask. In fact, get two. Get one for your friend. Get a backup no more talk mask. What better kind of mask to get? What better statement to make with a mask than no more talk? You dig? Now, since we're talking about no more talk, I need some of you guys to apply that to yourself because I know you're going to try to go in on my shirt. So I'm going to do it first. This design on here, these are fish. This is about the best fishing dress shirt that I could find out there. I am an avid fisherman. I love to fish. Me and my son, we go fishing uh, whenever he's in town and the weather's good, you dig? Fishing is a very relaxing sport. I know some of y'all say, that ain't no sport. Catch something big enough, you'll see what I'm talking about. Anyway, fam, let's go in on this topic. A recent episode of Marriage Boot Camp Reality Stars featuring Vado appearing to put his hands around Tahiri's neck has some people asking, why is it that Tahiri gets a pass? Backstory. Tahiri threw some apples at Vado's head. She struck his body twice with the two apples that she threw. That clip was not included in the piece that they promoted. They only promoted the piece where Tahiri was choked or appeared to be choked by Vado. Why is that? Vado issued an apology to all women. He said, yeah, what I did was some straight sucker shit. That's what he said, not my words. He said, yeah, I snapped, but he said, hey, you know, ladies, keep your hands to yourself. Now, these two, they were bickering uh, from what I understand, in their bedroom over a game called Clue, and it spilled over into another game that they were playing where they were instructed to uh, shock one another if the other did something that they didn't like. I didn't watch the episode, but I did watch the highlights, enough to form an educated opinion about it, because I saw dude get up and choke her. I saw her throw apples at him. In both cases, neither were defending themselves, at least not from a physical assault. Either one of them could have walked away. Now, here's the deal. Family, everybody need to keep their hands to themselves. These two individuals are in a toxic relationship. They are going to hurt each other. This woman, Tahiri, is very volatile. She is violent. She has a hair-triggered temper. I mean, she is very violent. I don't think it's a good idea for anybody to be involved in a relationship with somebody who can't control their emotions. And I'll tell you this, they seem to be in a type of relationship where they actually hate each other, especially to hear it. She just seems like she hates, hates this dude. She told him, you're, you're wasting my time and time is money and you don't pay the bill. And she hit him up uh, a few other times about money. The last time I talked about this, about a month ago, a clip went viral 
of her uh, telling him that he was the brokest man she's ever dated or she's ever been with. I want you to understand something, family. Humiliation and embarrassment are two of the key signs in an abusive relationship. Very easy to tell. Sometimes you have people who are always making fun of their spouse. That's an abusive relationship. You, you don't have to even see signs of physical abuse. You don't even have to see it. You can just watch how they communicate or how they don't communicate. Because sometimes you can be around couples and they don't even talk to each other. Case in point, you ever been riding alone in a car and you look over and you see a couple and they're looking straight forward. The person, the guy's driving or the woman's driving and the other person is just looking like this, just staring straight ahead. You know, they got that stoic type look. And I'm not saying that people always have to be talking or have a smile on their face or whatever. But I'm telling you, that's one of the key things, especially when you when you driving along and you you like, you know, in rush hour traffic or something, people are getting off work, people are going home or whatever, or even driving to work. And you look over and you see that couple in that car, the day just started. People, this is normal for people to talk. You know, communicate. After work, rush hour, people are talking. It's all kinds of things to catch up on. And they're not communicating. That is a clear sign. Some of you can relate to what I'm saying because you've been through it yourself. I've been through it. That's why I can recognize it. See, what happens oftentimes in relationships is people will resent one another. For whatever reason, maybe they resent the other person because they feel like they've settled. Maybe that person is doing something that they don't like or they're not living up to their expectations. And so they become resentful. Once they become resentful, they get to a point to where the disrespect comes. Once the disrespect comes, then they lose trust. And as the great Betty Wright once said, no trust, no relationship. So if you ever find yourself going down that road, you need to ask yourself the question, what the hell am I doing? No more talk. What the ladies talking about?